Good afternoon viewers on this Wednesday afternoon uh, I've no idea whether I'll be able to get a full video out for you this afternoon but that's the challenge I'm back on the pasture that's had a very good walk over by myself I've mainly done it Fred's been out with me a few times on it bless him bad to come on it and uh, it's very revealing that he found two cartwheel pennies that had missed last time out so yeah that's all man i certainly ain't got everything off this field i never i never grid fields i just like to walk over them willy-nilly so it's had a good walk over but um i'm gonna see what else is left today and if i find enough this will be a video if you're watching this intro you know that i got enough to make a video i've got a f my first signal here so it's a solid 51 on the dais So that turned out just to be a bit of foil but it was a solid signal so it does tell me that there are some signals left here for us on this well worked pasture let's see if we can pick some more up and get something decent well i just found this and at first i thought it was a small ancient corn it is only tiny and well zoomed in it's a button it is a button viewers Uh, would have been a nice one that back in the day uh, almost uh, at the point where I was wondering to myself what am I actually doing on this field there's the only signals that are still standing out mainly are in the foil range but I'm digging them and I've just got that and uh, yeah hopefully there's some other old stuff here hard going though i'm having to really slow it down and investigate all kinds of signals that i might not ordinarily dig but that's what you do in these circumstances well my first find here of any note and i've been going about an hour now a uh, nice intact little thimble not an ancient one not a silver one but certainly fine still uh yeah so I've had to slow my, my walking pace right down. You're hardly walking at all. And this one was uh, an iron grunt signal with uh, some numbers just flickering in occasionally. So I basically f fished that one out the iron. But I enjoy doing that. And you can do it better when you slow it right down. Just managed to get another target while I'm hardly walking at all, you know. You don't even put one foot in front of the other on this it's more like a shuffle a penguin shuffle or something as neil jones the mine lab demonstrator my friend calls it penguin shuffle He's, he calls it something along them lines old slow and low neil jones well when your pasture fields have had a good going over these are the sort of techniques you need to use um yeah that's a, a horse harness ring not not part of an annular brooch it's not been worn on the finger it is part of horse harnesses but still could be easy 500 years old or more well, i've just got my first um coin and we're pretty much right in the middle here of the field we're not exactly in the middle but right out in the spot where we've, anybody who's been on it recently me badger and fred we've all had a good walk over here um now, if it wasn't for this slow and low penguin shuffle, there is absolutely no way I would have got this coin just now. Because I'm not going to lie to you and say that was above it, but there was a head of a much older nail. There was a head of a much older nail about as big as what you can see there on that one now. So there was that much of a really rusted up nail at four inches, and that coin was at nine inches. There's a really scuffy signal. If I hadn't have been hardly walking at all across this field, I wouldn't have picked up enough on that to want to investigate. Well, not a bad uh, example of a George. Is it George II or someone? Don't know whether it's George I or George II. Anyway, it's one of the Georges. And um, for the coppers, it's not bad. But the thing is, 
if we're missing that when we're going at our normal walking speed what else are we missing viewers you know let's say let's say that was the top of the soil surface remember it was only a head of a nail about four inches below it and about I don't know about down there so surface head of a nail and the coin down there and I only picked up on it because I was doing a slow and low technique that I picked up on uh, Neil Jones's video yesterday go and check them out slow and low on YouTube just found this uh, I think this was about five inches down I thought it was a squash musket ball at first but it's got too much about it the only things I know that look a bit like this are um, the tops of a Saxon pin or you know old pins doesn't all have to be Saxon but ancient hair pins from well from medieval back so that might be that it's only a very small target But I'll give you a demonstration in a minute of um, of how slow I'm walking to try and increase my finds rate today on this um, done to death pasture. I'm going to put this video out anyway now I've decided whether I find a bucket list or a bit of silver or not. Simply as a bit of a tutorial video, you know, how to increase your finds rate and the best times to use this technique is when... You've either got pasture that's never getting ploughed, that uh, is getting really quiet on you, or if you find yourself on a very productive hotspot, you know, slow it right down. A little bumblebee if I'm not about he sits on the clothes and that he's just um, he's just uh, doing the fines pouch now got something there viewers doing this slow and low tutorial earlier I said uh, you know I'm gonna put this out anyway because I probably won't find any bucket listers or silvers or nothing I've got something there and I haven't had a good look at it yet. I don't know whether this is uh, a denarii or something even better. I'm not sure whether that's got a washed out gold tinge to it. Might not have. Some of the um, Celtic staters, you know, the gold content varies on them. So uh, I'm open anyway, it's a denarii or something. Uh, might just be a lead token. I don't know. I don't know viewers, but I've had to um, 
sit down and have a fag. Look at him on daddy's fine pouch. Bless him. Yeah, I'm sorry viewers, uh, I had to, uh, when I seen some of that in the cloud, I had to sit down and thought you couldn't make this up. I'm doing a slow and low Neil Jones tutorial uh, just because I've got nothing better to do today. And the oldest coin we found on here, did they have one? No, I haven't had any Roman off here. The Romans are next door in the arable. Um, this is about seven inches down. And it's an ancient coin. I think it, I think it's either a denarii. Possibility it's a very low gold content stator. I have got I have got colour blindness. If it is a stator, it's a washed out piss yellow one, but uh it might be a denarii, I'm not sure. Colour blindness and I always hope for the best. No my luck, I'll build all this up now and it'll be a, a lead token. But let, let's have a look together anyway. There's the little bunt. There's uh, the back of this, what I'm hoping is an ancient coin. Well, let's put it here and do this. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't know what it is. It could be a lad token viewers, because my eyesight is bad and I was building it up wanting it to be silver. Okay, all right. Blarmin' heck. I have to test if it's lead though. Oh, jeez. I think it is a lead token, but I'm not 100% yet, viewers. Oh dear, viewers, yeah. Lead token. This is what happens when you're a mega optimist, but still slow and low. That was missed. Same as that, um, George first or second copper or whatever it was before. There's no way I was getting them. Not getting them slow and low as the way viewers. Let me just give you a few other tips. So let's say that that's a signal in the ground. You get something, you're not sure whether it is a signal or nothing. Say you're, you're swinging across it this way with your coil. Anytime you get even a little half blip, especially with these slow and low techniques you're coming that way with your coil turn around start coming that way go that way any which way at all different angles right through your target that's another way to fish these things out of iron and whatnot so yeah always put your coil through these uh, iffy signals at different angles I'm left with a conundrum here because I am the editor of these videos. I just edit all that out and you watch it and uh, you just think Stevie's found a lead token. Oh yeah, viewers, well saved. I missed this. Nice example of a lead token. Or we'll leave him a denarii, possible washed out stator blooper. This is Anglo-Celtic viewers. I put them out as I make them. So you'll see my excited false alarm. Just found this fuse. I don't know whether it's something or nothing. It's quite, you know, it's quite thick. Uh, don't know whether this is uh, representing something. Like it's been a bit of a stamp or something. If it was, it'd be something to do with uh, something really old by the looks of it. Interesting. It was interesting and uh, after the big false alarm of the lead token, I wouldn't want to get my hopes up on that, but that could possibly, could possibly be silver, possibly, you know, what can you say? Anybody got an idea what that might be, viewers? I'll zoom out, give you a better indication of the uh, size. You know, it's quite a chunky little thing not sure whether that is a, a per purposeful like design on there or not an 
Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, has that got patterns around the side? Let me give the sides a wipe, viewers. One sec, I'll be back to you. Don't know whether it's a case of you just seeing things in this because you want to see it with the patterns, but uh, certainly got markings on the side. I don't know whether this is something or nothing, viewers. I'll give it the silver test when I get in and if it if it turned out to be silver that would pique me in trust more so there you go even the occasional bottle cap has been missed that was uh oh it's the good luck bottle cap look oh yes good luck Anglo Celtic from your tippling cousins of the past might have been gin or something Good luck. Yeah, I like it. I like that one. I'm on the track here, coming straight down this way, right next to the side of this part of the field. And I've walked up and down it a few times. Um, I've seen Badger walking up and down it a couple of times last week when he got his two cartwheels. Uh, it just shows you that this slow and low technique, it doesn't just help you here better the the um, more difficult targets to fish out the ground because your coil swinging lower across the ground even like fairly uh strong targets you've missed it because you're walking that bit quicker you're not covering the ground as much like with that bottle cap just then and also this was uh, a fairly strong target don't know what it is though. Possibility it's uh, a little Roman, and if it is, there's Roman in the next field, in the arable field. If this is a little Roman, it'll be the first Roman off this pasture. Oh no, it's all, it's all wind ups today, viewers. I think, I think this might be a button. But still, I'm getting the little targets, viewers. I'm getting. I'm getting plenty of targets. Last time I was on here, I wasn't doing the slow and low technique, and uh, I was missing a lot of this. Yeah, so that's William the Third. If you look for people who don't know, uh, if they're fairly new to the hobby, that G there, it's almost like the archaically speller's name, like Gillimus something. Well, that's William. William of Orange, uh, late 1600s. Sometimes you have William and Mary on the coins. Britannia's kind of almost missing in action there. There's a little bit on on that side, not much. But yeah, second coin of the day, slow and low techniques. You bunty, get off my hole, bunty. How can I get any digging done if you're in my hole? Oh, a lot of the targets I'm getting today are just little bits of foil like that, but I did see somebody dig a sig foil signal with, uh, it was uh, Nick Argent, he got Saxon Gold Frisma, and it was a banging foil signal at number 46 on the day as two. Oh, God, I love my bunty. Oh, I loves you, Bunty. I absolutely loves and adores my Bunty. Oh, you've got to love a Bunty, this. Absolutely. I know you're hungry, Bunty. It's quarter past five. I've got some uh, food in the car over by the gate there. Let me just prop my camera up and uh, talk to the viewers a minute, Bunt. Uh, where am I going to prop it? Oh, I don't know. I'll find somewhere. I'll probably prop it there, viewers. No, I don't bring blooming tripods out with me. Oh, that's grown. I want that to grow even quicker and quicker and quicker and come off. 